Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. For today's reenactment, a very nice man called Larry Christian contacted me via the email, and I'll read out the first sentence. I'm trying to find information on my cousin, Lieutenant David Marion Christian, who was killed in action June 2nd, 1965, flying his A4 Skyhawk Bureau number 151144NE348 for VE23, the Black Knights, off USS Midway. David was killed in the early part of Operation Rolling Thunder and several emails followed as the story unraveled and he found more source data. So what we'll do today is I'll read a summary of that information so you know roughly what I know about this story and then we'll go and do the reenactment. So Larry continues, here is some information I know. Christian was killed when he was hit by AAA while pulling up for his second Zuni rocket attack on a radar site south of Tan Ho. Our final accounting report shows he did not survive the ejection. However, I recently found the officer in charge that was coordinating the AE-1F SPAD, so that is a Sky Raider, mission to support the search and rescue. We talked for several hours and he gave me his account of the mission and all that transpired that day. He was very specific with time, mission target and people involved. He said he was on the radio during the search and rescue mission and monitored the events as they unfolded. He said David did safely eject and was making his way to the beach a few miles from the target and taking heavy fire. He said the A1 Sky Raider number 703 flown by McKeegan and crew chose to engage the beach with two strafing runs and was shot down during their rescue attempt right in front of David. All crew were lost. He said another A4 pilot, McKamey, then turned back to assist and was also shot down. He also said another plane was supposed to be on that mission but had electrical problems and had to scratch out. By the end of that day, three planes were on the ground and six crew members were lost. McKamey was taken prisoner of war. The guy I talked to was James Glendening and he said he also had to write the letters home to the families and he was very emotional about the entire story. He said the USS Midway, which is now a museum in California, currently has David Christian, McKamey and the search and rescue mission still up on their launch status board in their primary flight control center, frozen in time because it was one of the worst days the USS Midway experienced. In reviewing the Defense Department final accounting report, it states that there was a Russian newspaper article in Pravda in 1965 referencing David Christian by name. I was able to get a copy and translate it, and it says they have all his personal belongings. The report also states these belongings are now in a military museum in North Vietnam. There is also a reference in the final report to the ongoing negotiations with the Vietnamese to get all of the remains back, and that the Vietnamese supplied a negotiation folder containing information on their locations as well as the status of the A-4 pilot at the time of the crash, which on their report showed a survivability rating of 2. 5 is fatal and 1 is survived. Also a note saying discrepancy of facts. So the report my family has and this account do not line up. It's my belief that David was killed on the beach by the Vietnamese or captured and taken prisoner. I know after talking to Glenn Denning that he did not die in his plane or in the ejection as the official report says. That's all he knows so far, and he's going to keep digging deeper to get to the truth, but he wants us to do a reenactment of it. First thing to say, and importantly, we're not going to do a one to one super realistic reenactment. We're going to do a Hollywood style dramatization for it because that just fits better with what we're going to do. So, welcome to 1965, the attempted rescue of David Christian during Operation Rolling Thunder, Vietnam. Here is the east coast of Vietnam, or the closest we can get to it. 
Here, eight miles from the coast, is Tan Ho, and the radar site is there. And this, is, of course, is the East Vietnamese Sea. The first thing that will happen in our dramatization is Christian in his Skyhawk is going to attack the radar site and obviously his plane is going to meet an untimely end because it's defended with lots of AAA. When he ejects, he will then be on foot. Here he is looking very low polygon style with a gun that he shouldn't have had, but it's near enough. And he will work his way on foot at max speed through a series of steer points until he gets to steer point eight here at the coast, which is where the search and rescue begins hot on his heels for the whole eight miles are going to be a platoon of North Vietnamese army as soon as he's shot down and this differs a little to real life I know but this is just how we're going to do it we are going to take off from USS Midway 75 miles out we're going to have a series of A4 Skyhawks armed with pretty much the same as Christian was Zuni rockets sidewinders and of course the twin cannon we're going to meet up with two or maybe one Sky Raider along the way. Now, we don't have Sky Raider, so we're using P-47 for today. And head to the coast, where we'll try and get in radio contact with Christian and see how the search and rescue develops. What happens after that? Well, we'll just have to find out. Welcome in, viewers. We start with Christian in his A-4 attacking the radar site. Simba, please unpause server. On the day, the site was very heavily defended with hostile AAA. Christine is hit. He doesn't care, he's going in for a second pass anyway. Oh, he's run out of hydraulic pressure and he's ejected. He survived his ejection and he's going to start marching his way eight miles east to the coast. And the search and rescue is launched. I'm in my makeshift raider, sky raider, sorry. The boys are on the midway and today there is Simba, Dark, Poosh and Cannibal. Hello, boys. Hello. Please start taking off and finding me. Boys. Huh. Oh, oh, oh got a boy. Scrape back. Wow. Um, <clears throat> right, guys, I'm going to set a course for 290. Please come and get in formation with me. I'll lead the way because I'm slowest, obviously. 75 miles to go, so it is a fairly long way for this. Right, viewers, I've got to manage my engine, so check, check, I'm running hot, cows open. We've got an asymmetric setup here, viewers, so let's see if these heavily loaded Skyhawks can even fly as slow as me. Right, cylinder head temp good, oil just about okay, engine within parameters, let's see how the boys are doing up on your right wing yeah I'm pretty much maxed out continuous sky radar really interesting aircraft it could have a kind of single pilot like this or a side-by-side -side arrangement in the later versions and the uh, H model they had seating for troops too. really wow how many troops could it carry I'm thinking six it's kind of like the OB-10 wow what an amazing plane good plane as she was viewers she was not a fast plane engine Tickety boo and Vietnam in sight, boys. This is a very 
very peculiar throttle position for it is his it is isn't it Simba? But I'm like right at my push through. That's exactly what, this is what we call an asymmetric formation, guys. Yes, I'm aware viewers, they would not use parade formation in a real combat mission. I get it. We don't care. It's a dramatization. We're speeding up, uh, guys. You're going to still start feeling comfortable soon. GR is parade formation. That's all That's what we I mean. Know. Whoops, burn my engine out. How did that happen? If you wanted to learn more about flying the jug, yes, go to the Grim Reaper's Stoneburner server. Stoneburner server? Where we have, yeah, where we have jugs just waiting for people to fly. All right, excellent news. I'll get right there. Guys, once we reach the coast, we're gonna go into an orbit at a safe altitude. You don't need to be mega high, but I would say, I don't know, five, six thousand feet, something like that. Right, we're cooking on gas now, guys. We are at 275 miles an hour. That's about 240 knots. That's all the knots. All right, guys, 290 miles an hour. Whoop, whoop, engine is good. Start arming weapons. Gun test. Uh, response on this is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? You don't like the delayed spool time? The 1950s jet engine? Mm-hmm. Uh, let me know what it was. Viewers, uh, my thinking is it's a J57, but I may have that wrong. We're missing a Skyhawk. There's only three of you. Where's the other one? I don't know. Okay. Push in the rear with the gear. The junk in the trunk. Yeah. Push. Yes. Do you have girlfriend Vietnam? Huh. How about that? And fully demonetized. Guys, I'm going to start trying to make contact with Christian now. We're in dangerous territory, so let's separate to a battle spread, please. Way ahead of you. Yes, <laughs> you are, Push. Well, actually, you're behind. Right, I made the magic 300 miles an hour. Woo! Sky Raider! Ain't no one catching me up. Oh, Christian, I'm in trouble. NVA Infantry Platoon north of my position. 300 feet. Popping blue smoke. Visual blue smoke. Wow, that was actually pretty accurate. Right, guys, I'm heading in. Watch for my traces. So we're starting a counterclockwise orbit. Yep. Okay, there's a little inlet. They are on the north or the right side of the inlet. Don't know how far yet, so stand by. Okay, cap, visual on troops. Watch my tracer now. Tracer on target. In that coast, it's slightly inland. Copy. It's on target. Follow that up, please. There. Following up right now. So where I hit and slightly inland, please. I'm into BDA. Good hits on those last Straight rockets. We have to do realistic BDA today. I can't get the scoreboard working for this one, viewers. You just have to trust me. So we're doing this by eye. All right, guys, I'm going in for a close visual BDA. If we can get into a nice synchronized orbit, probably be good to do uh, north, yeah. north to south runs. So yeah. wait till you're north of the target and then roll in. Remember guys, east by eight miles is that very heavily defended insulation, so don't drag yourself east back. And I'm seeing bodies in the water and I'm not getting fired at, so I think we've probably done that, but I'm going a little lower just to make sure. North-south runs or south-north runs will put the uh, Christian in the 
overshoot undershoot area of firing. So fair point, Simba. West. Yep, Simba is over top looking down. I don't see anything. Roger, I'm over the to, uh, top uh, 200, 300 feet now. I'm not receiving rifle fire. Visual NBA bodies. Mission some. All right, let's wait for an update from Christian. Get your KE, KE in order. Check your weapons. Right, engine. Jesus, I'm borderline. I'm opening up my cows. Cool down, big engine. Cool down. Update from Christian. NBA convoy spotted with AAA. West of my position. Red smoke now. Can anyone see a convoy west of the smoke? I'm blind. Yes, it's on the road. Attack it's, a... Uh, south south of the smoke, actually. Yep, road is running north-south. Yeah, that'll be them. Attack at will, guys. Watch out for heavy AAA. Cannonball rolling in, uh, west-east. It's, she's as big caliber AAA, make your 400 plus knots. I've got to get out of here. Heavy duty AAA in there. Cap running in from the rear, from the south. Getting shot at. Ah, it's too freaking deadly. Bailing out. Trying again from the north. Oh shit, I'm hit. I'm alright. Cannibal in from the south. My station five zoomies tend to miss right at the target. I raid a tough bird. I did get some damage on them. Uh, the south is a heavy triple A. It's, it's nasty. It'd be nice to take that out or give us free rain. I've got elevator control issues. The south, say. Okay. Back into the convoy. Come on, hold together. Hold together, gal. Ah, oh, god damn it. i got no control. Alright, lead of the convoy is getting close to the building. Come on, guys. Step it up. We're rolling in. I didn't see anything firing at me when I went through, but... Good. We might have taken out the AAA. That would be nice. Right. There's good hits. Good hits. We're dead. My elevators can't fly. My last station of rockets. Looks like most of it's destroyed. Come on, let me have some control. Hang on, I'll read that in a second. Then a compound surrounded. There's no compound. White smoke. Right. Ignore this target. It's done. I mean, a compound. He's popping white smoke. He's in that compound. He's surrounded Visual. by an NBA platoon of uh, infantry plus a company of light vehicles. So, kill anything that's outside of the white smoked compound. Receiving fire. You got a uh, 
Eyeballs on anything? Yes. Got eyeballs on ground targets. Infantry close around it, up to 300 feet. Uh, up to a mile appears to be APCs. So we're rolling in from the north. Cannons are effective on the APCs. Nice, good kills. I'm gonna take, I've got better cannon for the uh, infantry, I'm going for the infantry, I'm gonna get my friggin aim, ah, come on, let me aim. I can't do it. For reviewers, not much I can do. Hits on infantry. Two APCs down, well done. Pretty right. impressive rockets. Red Dragon, yeah, visual on you, push. I'm coming in from the north. Got another one. Keep it going, keep it going. We will save you, Christian. Hits, well done, great work guys. Six APCs down, I think four to go from what I can see, and half of the platoon. Hit, what well boys? All right, I'm only down, I'm down to my last station of Zunis. Roger, Simber, if, if you run out of APCs to kill, if you go north of the white smoke by just, just a hundred feet, there is a, there's a tune of men around it. So you want me to go Zunis near the compound or Zunis? Yeah, so I would say Zunis north of the compound, just about a building's width north. So the direction the smoke is travelling. Keep fast if you can, guys. Let me soak more gun. Sorry, viewers. I've got very little control of this plane now. There is a bunch of infantry. Well there. done! Friggin' platoon just destroyed by a giant Zuni rocket. Going in for a close BDA. Oh yeah, that infantry platoon's gone, Simba. There's like two guys left standing. Right, this has finished off the last APCs and I think we're done here. Christian can move out. Go kill on the APC. Two APCs left. One northwest. One of the compound by mile. One uh west of the compound by a quarter of a mile. Cab receiving fire. Two infantry up. Lots of damage on the one of the ones. Shots. Is that killed it? Other than that, there's just one uh, northwest by a mile at the very end of the enclosure. I'm about to check my engine. Oh, hang on. USS Midway, warning, search and rescue mission. Bogies ingressing to the west. Guys, mission here is done. Switched air to air, look west, west, west. Unknown what's coming. Mix to the west, they're down low. Roger, roger. How far are they? Visual, visual, visual. Mix, let's go. Check your target before you fire. They'll have hot engines. Slow. They're west, 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 and they're ingressing probably two miles now. Cap gunfire on one. Get some, you son of a bitch. Oh, God. 
visual urge. I'm going after him. I'm going high, MiG-21. Let's get a heater on his tail, guys. Man, they are fast. So fast. Happen the blind. Pull him out when you see him, guys. I want to zoom climb, just went through the clouds. That triple A fire is coming from the heavily defended radar site. Don't be there. Oh shit! Oh, they got me! You son of a bitch, Mig! I gotta get out. I'm coming, Christian! Right, I've got to land in his compound. There it is. I'm coming! Push is down. Some emerged MiG-21. Is that you with Flare Simba? Nope. Pretty sure that was the MiG. Yep. Oh Jesus, MiG-19s just joined the fight, MiG-19s. Extra caution. Oh, damn it, they're luring us over the triple A, sons of bitches. Go on, Simba, go on, Simba. Get a sucker's number. Not getting a tone. No, that is the, that's the problem. Shot! Flash. Nice. All right. One. North Vietnamese guy down. Three to go. Ah, Jesus! Remerged. Looks like an overshoot. Yes, it does. Go on. Go on. Right down his friggin' jet pipe. Turning away from that one under the Ming 19. Man, that vertical is so strong. Box two. Oh, almost Mid collided. Yeesh! Oh, it went right past his face, Simba. <laughs> guns, guns, guns. <coughs> so he had no right to dodge that. Oh, at least you're lighter now. Gonna fight with the Mig 19. You keep that 19 busy, Dark. The other boys are on a 21 that's being a real sucker. Unlucky. Yeah, if I have guns, it's gotta be dead, but... Just keep him busy. Keep him off the boys. Maneuver kill. Smirk. No. I love... Oh, no, I'm not bailing out over the water, no gas. Ah, uh, Simba's out of gas. Dark, can you get rid of those uh, rocket pods? They're weighing you down. Carrying around three tons of rocket pods. That's some more. Roger Simba, fight to the end. You got, still got more on you. All right, now he's on your lift vector. Finish him. Who's still on the MiG-21? Cannonball. All right, fight to the end. MiG-21 down. 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 Yes, well done. Woo. One more to do. It's a MiG-19. Uh, Simba, can you uh, can someone vector cannonball to the battle, please? Oh, uh, yes. Jesus Christ, he's right on the edge. Two, six, two, five, oh no, Dark's out of fuel. No, he's not. Doesn't matter. No, but I'm out of missiles. Oh god, but right. We got a cannonball in it. I'm out of them. Um, the end guns. 
Has anyone got any munitions to say this MiG down? I mean, he's gonna crash eventually. But he is a badly trained pilot! Oh, no. He's done it! He's done it! Yeah! Dog! <laughs> wow! Oh, wow. Maneuver kill. Alright, so... I'm gonna go on treat map, find out what happened. Yeah, Cannonballs are live, Simbas. Go on, Simba. I see a friendly bridge. Flaps, flaps, oh, flaps, Simba. You'll need flaps for your stool. No hydraulics. Punch, punch, punch. Alright, get over to the compound with us. We're over to the compound. Out of gas. Me and Christian. Oh, not another one. Jesus Christ. All right. I am, um, get the flaps down before oh the hydraulics go. Get the flaps down before the hydraulic pump goes. Dark. Uh, real low on gas. Oh, God. You might as well try putting it down as well. You're not making it 70 miles back. Get your flaps down while you got hydraulics and land somewhere. I heard the North Vietnamese were very hospitable in 1965. I was going to say, I think I'll take my chances over water. All right, you do that. Cannibal, I got, over I got a landing position for you. Feel free to ignore me, but on your nose, right 20 degrees, right five, level. There's a golf course right in front of you. That's where me and Simba are at that golf building. Yes, I'm yeah, aware I'm they didn't. Headed there. All right, Oops, try and put it down um, there. Watch your put speed. Put it down on the third fairway. Oh, you guys are talking about the same one with the compound with the uh, enemies at it. Yeah, yeah we're blowing them all up. The enemies. We're blowing them all up. All right, land it. Ah. Or punch out, punch out, punch out, punch out. We'll see you in there. USN can suck up the cost oh, uh, of the airframe. Alright, walk over to the building and we just need dark in now. We're gonna make a last stand. What are you doing? Are you RTBing? No, you're landing, right. No. Attempting to. Correct decision. I see the compound. Walk into the compound. Walk to the compound, yeah, you got it. Well, viewers, this ended up real weird. Hollywood dramatization, best dramatization, apparently. Right, we're gonna land on the third fairway, whatever the hell Simba said. Make sure you bring your putter. I would land on the next set if I were you, Dark, where the building is. It's flatter. All right, watch out for stool, watch out for stool. Just on the next bit of light grass. Don't worry about the incoming bullets, they'll be fine. And punt, land it, land it, land it. No trouble. All right. Oh, you're going to have a long walk. He's fine, he's fine. Right. Right, now, oh, I would suggest oh, eject. Sandra. Eject! Eject! Sandra. Eject, Sandra! He's good! He's still good! And oh, oh, not anything creek. but the creek! All right, dog! I'm alive. Can it be open? Walk I'm over to the building. Plane. We've got a beer ready for you at the uh, at the golf course. Yeah, it yeah. says it's a, it's a supermart, and it's got Coca-Cola. They had Coca-Cola in North Vietnam, but they probably did, I suppose, didn't they? Right, viewers, um, didn't quite end up like real life, but you know what? It was kind of fun, and obviously we do these fun, dramatic things, even though it was a, a real, you know, a sad event in real life. But uh, pilots, I, <laughs> we, we kind of won. We took out three massive battles, and we took out two MiG-21s and two MiG-19s. With just us, and, you know, that is actually bloody good when you think about it. It was a good time. Good mission. No, yeah, it was, was a good mission. Good mission. That is important, guys. I hope you enjoyed that, viewers, and bye-bye.